So there is Baglarka Varga, 18 years of age in two days' time. Comes in as the 2020 National Youth Champion up in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. Dropping down to compete as a 75 kilogram middleweight here. Her opponent in the blue corner is 18 right now, and that is Dana Didai, the reigning 2021 National Youth Champion in the 75 kilogram weight class in her homeland of Kazakhstan. Also comes in as the continental champion in the junior classification, having taken that continental title in 2019. So plenty of credentials amongst the accomplishments of these two skillful teenagers. And they're looking to see who will go through to face off against Sokiba Ruzmetova her sensational first round stoppage victory in her quarterfinal. One. So we're underway then. Boxers of contrasting statures facing off in this second semi-final and hooks crashing around the corner from both flanks from Didai. Getting inside the longer arms and longer reach of Varga and having terrific success as with those hooks there, my goodness, no eight count forthcoming. But the woman in red in danger of being overwhelmed in the first 30 seconds. What a blistering start as another right hand crashes home from Didai. Swarming aggression of the most effective variety from the Kazakh boxer. Varga looking to find the range. And she did get through with a left right combination, but she's being out punched and in danger of being run over by Dana Didai from Kazakhstan. Solid right hand over the top once again. And another one. No standing count. And for the first minute, well, Varga had been put under consistent, sustained pressure. Trying to drop down to the body, but the shot may have been low from Didai. As another jolting up jab spears home for Didai. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand. Bought it from behind her back, but it still found the range. Halfway through... And this is a display of terrific punch picking from Didai of Kazakhstan. Solid right hand once again, catches Varga, her chin propped up in the air. She's looking to get through with big backhands of her own now and did find the range. Well, surely they won't be able to maintain this type of tempo through the three three minute rounds. But if their chins continue to be checked like this, particularly that of Varga, who is cracked again by an almighty right hand, followed by a left hook. And another left-right success. Didai put absolutely incredible accuracy with her punching. And that's because Varga's target, while it's not proving to be elusive or evasive, Well, I'm absolutely stunned that there's been no standing count issued given the volume of punches that have been shipped by Varga over the course of this round so far. Some adjustments required to the ponytail of the woman in red. So a respite for both boxers. But of course it is for both boxers. It may benefit Varga more, but she walks into a left jab on the resumption and another one with herself pinned to the ropes. Firing away with terrific ferocity from both flanks is Didai. Varga trying to punch her way into this contest. She's had sporadic success, but make no mistake, the dominator of this opening round has been the woman in blue. Wow, what a blistering three minutes. 
And they may, they may be a part of Didai thinking, well, what is keeping this woman up on her feet and in the contest? Didai taking it, 10-9 across the board. Well, Varga was trying to establish her jab, but once it was in mid-range and her jab wasn't straight, well, Dadai just continuing to land shots like that. Flush right hand out of the orthodox stance. No standing count issued during the course of that first round. Second out, please. Round two. So into the second round then. The guy enduring a trip to the canvas after a tangle at the start of the second round. Well, it's an exchange of backhands. Both boxers getting through with right hands. Trying to use good foot movements, both left and right now, is the die changing the angle. Varga remaining dogged in her pursuit of the woman in blue. But she's content to give up all of her assets of height and reach. And again, there's an exchange, but the first and final word going to the woman in blue. Breathing audible from our commentary position. There's another right hand crashes home on a chin that is up in the air and totally unprotected. Varga paying very little attention to defense and perhaps deciding that offense is the best form of defense as she lands an arcing right hand of her own. But she has been hit hard and often on a chin that is wide open. Varga has success of her own. She is incredibly tough, Varga. But again, Toughness, an essential part of all sports and boxing in particular. I'm not sure it needs to be exhibited like this. Varga not demonstrating any instinct to move out of the way of the punches and just continuing to rely on the strength of her chin to remain in this contest. Well, Didai has let an awful lot of punches go. Her shot's becoming slightly less crisp as she takes a left hook around the corner. And is she beginning to run low on energy because she has let so many punches go, but her determination as she bites down, she still gets the better of that exchange, but now Varga willing her way forwards and backing up Didai. Didai cleverly, di cleverly ducks out of there, but Varga trying to edge her way back into this one by merely outlasting to die, but both boxers feeling the pace now, and unsurprisingly so, because for two and a half rounds, it has been non-stop punching, and these are 75 kilogram middleweights. Absolutely extraordinary punch output, as Varga lands with a hard right hand, and another one, and Didai is being punched to a standstill, and a standing count issued against the woman in blue, who has been the aggressor, the more accurate puncher, all contest long. And perhaps she has punched herself out. I posed the question at the end of the first round. It may well be going through her mind. Well, what is keeping this woman up? And we talked about toughness. And maybe Vargas is going to keep her in this contest and indeed turn it around. What a remarkable turnaround in the closing stages of round number two. Because Didai simply couldn't miss Varga for the entirety of round one. But look at that turnaround. Baglaka Varga of Hungary so absorbing, taking the punches from the woman in blue and now on the verge of outlasting her because Didai was incredibly fatigued at the end of that second round. She took a standing count. I've expressed my surprise that no standing count was issued against Varga over the course of the first three minutes. But my goodness... What an extraordinary contest we have on our hands here. Didai appears to have punched herself out. And then Varga took advantage and began crashing home punches on her unprotected chin. 
what will ensue over this final three minutes? Are we going to hear the bell at the conclusion of three minutes or is somebody going to get stopped? Both of these boxers incredibly fatigued. The die back onto the front foot having conceded the second round. The movement of both boxers becoming statuesque. Incredibly fatigued up there in the boxing ring. Didai trying to give the impression that she is still sharp. That's a flashing right hook landed by Didai. Varga possesses some chin. My goodness, her head is snapped backwards once again. This is absolutely extraordinary to behold. Right hands being exchanged. And this type of trade-off, these types of trade-offs wouldn't look out of place in an over-the-top Hollywood cinematic blockbuster. But this is Aiba boxing. And yet the punch output from these 75 kilogram middleweights have been crashing home repeatedly. There's been very little evidence of defense from either boxer. And for my money, Varga's exhausted here, but she appeared that way in the second round. But she was the one who ended up finishing more strongly. The referee's going to have to keep a close eye on these boxers. A place in the semi final stage is a prize that awaits the victor. Neither of these boxers are going to quit. They're unrelenting in their pursuit of victory. But look at Varga. She can hardly stand up. Approaching the midpoint of the third and final round. The safety of the athletes absolutely paramount. And these two boxers are punching one another to a standstill. Varga should be taking a standing count here. Every punch that she's absorbing is rocking her right down to her bootstraps. Her competitive spirit keeping her up and keeping her throwing leather. But I think she should have been given a standing count a long time ago, but certainly here in the third. Both boxers letting go right hands where they can barely move their feet. And again, the effects of the punch is becoming more pronounced, particularly when it's Varga who is taking them. And it's commendable competitive spirit being shown by both. But the boxers, look at this. Varga can't hold her stance anymore. And for me, several standing counts could have been issued in the course of this contest. Remember, a maximum of four permitted. It's knock them down, drag them out stuff. But this is going beyond boxing now. This is brawling because neither boxer has the energy to exhibit their skills. Varga in particular looks absolutely spent. Admirable determination. And the bell coming not a moment too soon. For my money, it's the die who will be going through. You have to credit the conditioning and determination and desire of the die, excuse me, of Varga. But she may well have taken too much there. <laughs> Terrific effort by both boxers. And I think it's the woman in blue who's going through. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by split decision is the boxer from the red corner. And it's Varga. I do Varga find that surprising. Boglarka, Hungary. And that is a victory for unquenchable competitive spirit. She simply would not be denied. 29-28 for all five scoring judges. And she eliminates Dana Dadai, who completely dominated the opening round. She has secured herself a world championship medal here at Kielce 2021 by the narrowest of margins, a 3-2 split decision winner. And that is how she did it. I think Dadai is incredibly unlucky at the conclusion of that contest.